Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 9th of July 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Feminines who need to hear these messages today. Ace of Pentacles. There you go. Somebody is winning today. I don't know. There's something new. Yeah, they are winning. What are they winning? I don't know. They're winning money. Somebody might be playing the lottery. Look, three of swords. Uh-oh. Four of cups. This talks about heartbreak and rejection. They're winning heartbreak and rejection. This is kind of weird. What's with the three of swords, two of pentacles? There's some message about money here. King of wands, six of pentacles, four of pentacles. 64, and yeah, 64 could be significant. Fourth of June, sixth of April. Hmm. Who's this king of wands here? Somebody might want to work with this feminine. Somebody wants to do... Okay, so... Somebody who broke this feminine's heart in the past wants to come back and work with this feminine on something. Some kind of um, collaboration. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Eight of Cups talks about walking away. I think this feminine is going to walk away from this person. So somebody who um, broke this uh, feminine's heart and uh, rejected her is coming to, to have some kind of collaboration here. Is that it? Is that what I'm getting? Is this a past guy trying to work with this feminine? Yeah, victory. It could be that this feminine is getting a lot of attention or a lot of money right now. And uh, that's why he's giving her attention too. Yes, exactly. What else? What else is new? Yeah, yes again. So he wants to get some attention too. So he wants to be in a power couple now because she's getting attention. He wants to be celebrated. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, they want to be friends again. He wants a reunion now. He wants a new beginning quickly, quickly because uh, she's about to... Um, she's about to be big in some way. Either, yeah, six of swords. She's also about to walk away. She's about to move somewhere too. So he's trying to come in before she's moving away from him. Before she's fully moved on or she, before she physically moves away somewhere. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward here. I mean, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. Be warned that there's a guy from your past who broke your heart and rejected you, who wants to come back and work with you now. He wants some kind of uh, collaboration with you uh, because um, he sees you doing well financially. You could be getting attention, blah, 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 okay? Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, he's the King of Wands, you're the Queen of Wands. So he wants to say that you're his soulmate or twin flame. All of a sudden he finds you attractive, yeah? Ten of Swords, but it's a betrayal. This guy's coming in to betray you, basically. Five of Wands, he's, causing, he's coming in to cause conflict and stuff. Yeah, this is a past person. Two of Cups, yeah, he's gonna say he's your soulmate or twin flame, that he wants a relationship with you, that he wants to work with you. But it's betrayal, it's still betrayal. This person's gonna betray you again. Ten of Wands, and he's a burden. He could be burdened by other things. He could have financial burdens or difficulties. Yeah, he's going for karma right now. That's why he's coming towards you. He might even apologize here for past behavior, for the way he treated you in the past, because he's burdened by karma, because he's getting it during Saturn retrograde. It is very obvious here what we're talking about. Nine of Swords reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed. But you don't want to have any more anxiety caused by this person, and you don't want to work with them. So it's not going to work, even if they try to come in. Five of Wands. Yeah, they keep coming in with conflict anyway. Nine of Wands. They're the wounded soldier or you're the wounded soldier because of this person. Yeah, Nine of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Cups. This person hurt you in the past, even physically. He could have hurt you physically in the past, actually. Nine of Wands with Five of Wands is like domestic violence for me or some kind of violence. Ganging up on people. 34 could be significant. The number 34 could be significant because it came out together. 95 and 34. Maybe you've known this person since 95. You could be 34 or something about these numbers is significant here. 
yes, whoever resonates with this is going to find the numbers 95 and 34 significant. Maybe the year 1995 and the age 34, or just the number 34, Knight of Wands. Transportation, moving back and forth, Knight of Wands. And also this guy's a player. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this guy wants to work with her so she can, he can steal her money and energy. That's what he wants. Okay, anything else? Block him, stay single. That's the advice for Divine Feminine. And then you're going to get your Ten of Cups, but it's not going to be with him. It could be a King of Cups, could be somebody else. Who's your Ten of Cups here? Who's this Ten of Cups person? Who's the Ten of Cups here? Seven of Wands. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be somebody that you're guarded towards. You're not communicating. So it could be, maybe you don't know this person yet with the Seven of Wands and the Four of Swords. Or you're separated from this person. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a distance. This person that you're supposed to be with is at a distance for you, from you. The number 72 could be significant. Yeah, um, you're not in communication with the person you're meant to be with. You could be watching that person or that person's watching you, but you're not communicating with the person you're meant to be with. Who is this person? Can we get a court card or something? I ran out of court cards. I'm not, it's Seven of Cups, Pisces energy, okay? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there is somebody, but you're not talking to this person. You could be watching them or they're watching you, though. Five of Swords. Oh my God. I think you have some kind of... Um, <sighs> you have some kind of karma or some kind of argument with that person too. The person you're meant to be with. What's the argument with that person? What's the problem with that person? What's the problem? Seven of Swords. Somebody's running away. Somebody... Oh, look, 777. Seven, seven. Maybe you're seeing 777 seven, seven a lot or the number 7 significant for this person in some way. This person's running away. The person you're meant to be with is running away from you. Is ghosting you. Knight of Pentacles again. Could be a Taurus. Because it wanted to come out before. Yeah, you're in separation with this person. This person's running away from you. More Pisces energy. Um, yeah, this is somebody. It could be your twin flame that you're in separation with. The twin flame runner that you're in separation with. That's the person you're supposed to be with. Are you going to be with that person? Ten of Cups. Apparently you are because I've got the Ten of Cups and yet more Pisces energy and more Earth. You're going to be married to that person. I don't know how or when, but yeah. You're going to be with the person who's running from you right now. When is this going to happen? When is this miracle going to happen? When is this miracle going to happen? Very soon with the Fool. Either very King of Cups... Hmm. This guy might communicate with you soon. How soon? King of Pentacles. Maybe in Capricorn season or maybe hopefully in the next Earth sign season, which is Virgo season possibly. But the King of Pentacles is usually Capricorn. Yeah, maybe in Virgo season or the next or in Capricorn season. I don't know. Virgo season is not that far from here. So there you go. Queen of Cups. Okay, this person does have feelings for you. They're gonna talk. Yeah, and I think it could be possibly in the next earth sign season or maybe water sign. Well, water sign would be good because we're in a water sign season right now. So I don't know. Anyway, he wants to communicate. The person that you're meant to be with wants to communicate with you at this time or will soon. Yep, that's all. I hope this helps.